Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat at ngayon ay March 10, 2022, Thursday. Welcome po sa ating uh, episode ng The Stock Market Today. Kung first time niyo po dito sa channel na ito, ako po si Benji Chidoro, isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market noong 2007 at ginagawa ko po itong report araw-araw. At uh, kung gusto niyo po ng content na ito, nimbitan ko po kayo mag-subscribe sa channel ko. Ako po ay hindi financial advisor. Anything that I say in this channel should not be construed as financial advice. At uh, by the way, bago po ang lahat ay uh, nais kong uh, i-wish ang aking uh, cousin si Mari ng um, fast and uh, speedy recovery. Mari, if you're listening now, I'm wishing you a speedy recovery. Okay? I hope uh, we can uh, talk soon about stocks with your dad. Okay, ang news po natin ay tungkol sa Metro Pacific at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSC araw, March 10, 2022, dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. Okay, yung headlines po muna natin from uh, BDO, Dole Chief orders review of minimum wage amid surging fuel prices. FB or San Miguel Food and Beverage reports 40% year-on-year jump in full year 21 income to 31.4 billion. MP Corp profits rise 20% year on year to 12.3 billion in full year 2021. Ito po main news natin. ASEAN net profits rise 35%. Tingnan po natin ang ASEAN mamaya to 3.5 billion. MEG full year 21 net income up 36% year on year to 14.4 billion. RLC full year 21 net income up 62% year on year despite soft resi performance. Okay, so let's now go to our uh, main news which is Metro Pacific from Phil Star. Core earnings rise 20% to 12.3 billion in 2021. Pangilinan led Metro Pacific Investments Corp MPIC reported yesterday a consolidated core net income of 12.3 billion last year up 20% from 10.2 billion recorded a year ago. However, the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, MPIC is being cautious with its full year income guidance with MPIC, which MPIC Chief Finance Officer Cheryl Cabal Revilla said could range from high single digit growth to low double digit growth. Nonetheless, MPIC is allocating $136 billion for CAPEX this year, a huge leap from $78 billion in 2021. Mani V. Panginan, Chairman and President of MPIC, said it could keep a close watch on ongoing conflict as it could push oil prices upwards, which would in turn put pressure on inflation and cut into consumers' income. This could then affect MPIC's tollway business and demand for electricity if power rates go up. I do hope the economy can still grow despite the impact of cost push inflation. Pangalinan told reporters in a virtual briefing on MPIC's 2021 financial performance yesterday. Last year's improvement in core net income was propelled by a 13% growth in the first half of 2021, largely driven by improved traffic on its toll roads and higher volume of electricity sold by Meralco, the largest power distributor. MPIC's businesses include toll roads, infrastructure through Metro Pacific Tollways, hospitals, Metro Pacific Holdings, water through Manila Water Services, power distribution through Meralco, Light Rail, Manila Corporation, and logistics through Metropac Movers, Inc. 
Okay, so yan po ang ating main news today. And uh, before we go to the index, ay tignan po natin ang comments ng ating mga subscribers. Sabi po ni PM, thank you for the update sir, more power, God bless you more. Ricardo Atiliano, napaka unpredictable ng market lately. Totoo po yan. Napaka unpredictable po, especially yung rising oil prices and uh, conflict ng Russia no? and Ukraine which uh, is causing a uh, depression in the Philippine Stock Exchange. You know? Also yung um, rising nickel prices which is a bright spot in mining. Okay, so let's now go to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index and the PSE on what happened today. Okay, taas lang natin ang ating mga indicators. Yan! The PSE Index gained 134.92, 1.93% up. And yung uh, red engulfing candlestick na ito, ay uh, napalitan ng uh, green candlestick although paunti-unti lang po ang taas but the closing price is still under our indicators which would indicate uh, still a uh, bearish sentiment ano? pero unti-unti pong tumataas yung ating relative strength index yan po at uh, kung uh, makarecover po ang PSE dapat po ay uh, dire-diretso na po ang taas nito kailangan po sana mag uh, tumaas po siya na mas mataas doon sa ating mga indicator. Say for example yung EMA 100 na nasa 72,000 ano? So kailangan lumagpas po siya ng 72,000 para makita po natin yung recovery niya. Okay? Tapos uh, on the market activity, 108 companies advanced, 80 declined while 47 remained unchanged, the All Share Index also moved up 1.38% or 51.47 points. All our sectoral indices are green except for mining which uh, went down 1.65%. Yan po. So yung gainers was led by the holding companies at 294 Okay, so reviewing po natin ang uh, mga most active stocks but... Uh, Today, I will be reviewing those which uh, had figured in our headlines. Ano? So, tignan natin si FB, MPI, MEG, ASEN, RLC, and let's choose one mining stock. Nickel. Yan. Okay, so let's uh, start with San Miguel Foods and Beverage. Okay, still ending with the red candlestick. The closing price of 64.45 for FB is a bit higher than yesterday's closing price, no? 0.60 or 60 centavos. More still, FB is bearish. Pababa pa rin po si FB at kailangan ma-breach po niya at least yung short-term indicator po natin na 20-day exponential which is acting as our resistance right now, no? 66.62 yung uh, pinaka resistance po niya ni FB no in the meantime if we will draw a parallel channel para makita natin yung support more or less yan po eh nasa 6273 ang uh, pinaka support level po niya following the parallel channel then after FB we have MPI the most undervalued stock in the index yan another red candlestick but it gained uh, one centavo from previous day no point 27 percent up at uh, ito po yung uh, support level ni metro pacific ay nandito po sa level na ito actually it's near support no 368 po yung pinaka support niya teka plot nga natin 365 po ang pinaka-support ni Metro Pacific. And still, it is bearish. Yung uh, RSI po natin is bearish at 40. 
ang resistance po ni Metro Pacific nandito po sa 388. At next resistance level is here at the uh, 4 pesos. Pero talaga mabagal ang akyat ni Metro Pacific in spite of the fact na kubikita po siya. And then, si Meg or Mega World. Yan. Okay. Nagkaroon siya ng bounce, ano? From the support level here. At 3 pesos, naging 3.12 po siya. So, yesterday, it had a bounce from opened at uh, 3, ended at uh, 3.11, nag-gain po siya ng 2 centavos, naging 3.12, or 3.10, it ended at 3.12. So it's still more or less uh, moving sideways, slightly upwards, and we expect Megaworld to slightly move sideways, or move sideways, yung pinaka-resistance po, nandito po sa area ng to, nasa 3.34. So, medyo maganda pong ilaro ang uh, buy on support, sell on resistance dito. Ang mataas po yung resistance level ni Meg at mababa po yung kanyang support level. And then, ASEN, yan, okay. So, still bearish si ASEN. Again, we will be throwing a parallel channel just to show where the support and resistance are. So, following the short-term indicator, no? So, with a slight overshoot there. Yan. Yung pinaka-support po niya, 721. Very near support level of 721. And the resistance level is, pwede nating ilagay sa near the EMA20 or 843. 843 po ang pinaka resistance up to 890. Yun po for ASEN. And um, two days na po siyang umaakyat. Although these are just short candlesticks. And then si RLC. RLC naman, yan, continues to move upwards. And yung ating M100 seem to be acting as our support. So, if we will be drawing on again a parallel channel, making M100 as our support level, yan po. So, following the support level of M100 at 18.52, ang pinaka resistance po niya ay nasa 2011, and RLC continues to move at a trend or upward trend. So, right now, the previous day ay uh, nagkaroon siya ng malaking bounce. It closed at um, 1970, no? Or 1966, rather. But now it closed at 1970. And then finally, we have nickel. Okay. So, nagkaroon uh, siya ng red engulfing dito. At uh, mapapansin po natin ay yung gap na nandito ay na punuan na. Yan po ng red engulfing candlestick. Okay? So, yan po si Nickel. At uh, RSI is still bullish at 63. Nagkaroon po siya ng recovery, although the green candlestick didn't uh, exceed the closing price of the previous trading day, no? 14 centavos down pa rin siya. Pero, I would say that uh, technically, the stock is still bullish Tingnan nga natin kung ang nickel prices ay steady o tumataas slightly up at uh, 2%. Yan po si nickel. Okay. Yan po ang ating report sa stock market. March 10, 2022. Ito po si Benji Chidoro nagpapaalala an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik at hanggang sa muli. Take care, God bless, and bye for now.